Hello and welcome to this video presentation. My name is Paul Brett. I'm a senior software support analyst supporting the HCL Link product. Today's topic is artifact locking in the HCL Link design server. Feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn at Paul Brett IBM. The reason I'm doing this presentation today is because HCL Link Design Server is a cloud-based multi-user design environment. Therefore, multiple users can connect concurrently to a joint project. Each user will lock an artifact, be that a map, schema or other object, while editing. Other users will not be able to compromise the integrity of the locked artifact. Here you can see I have a connection to my Linux box where I have the Docker daemon running and I have started the four containers that make up the design server. As you can see the IP address of this particular machine ends in .35 so my next step is to fire up a browser to point to that address and get to the design server login screen. Here we have my HCL login screen, which I'm just going to shift to one side for the moment. And I'm going to start a second window, an incognito window, so I can log in to the same box but as a different user at the same time. Okay, on the left screen, we're going to log in as user one. and on the right screen we're going to log in as user 2. As you can see they both have access to exactly the same project, project 1. Both users can access the project. On the left if I go into the schema uh, generic as user 1 you can see I can open the schema. On the right we go into the schema generic the schema is opened, but it does tell us that we cannot save this schema at all. We can look at, it, look at it, but we can't save it. So let's come out of the schema for a moment, and let's come out of the schema on the user one side as well. Let's try the same thing with a map. We're going to open test one as user one. Map open successfully. Uh, user two tries to open test one and gets told again the map is locked. With maps though, you can make changes and then save those changes as a completely new map file. But you can't save it over the original which user 1 is working on. OK, let's say for example user 1 is working on the map and he is um, uh, building and running that map and then he decides um, that he needs a change made to the type tree, a quick change. Um, he checks out um, <coughs> tries to use the type tree editor. Um, however, user2 seems to be using it. That's fine. He just calls across to his um, colleague across the room who's uh, user2 and says, oh, can you make this quick change to the type tree for me? So for example, let's here add um, additional entry called um, number item. And we'll make it an item and we'll make the subclass a number. User 2 can save that file and then user 1 can um, bring up the properties of one of the cards and then from the schema by using the drop down box he will find that that item has actually been changed and refreshed in the screen and he can actually choose to use that, um, that new object if he wants to. Obviously this map won't build now because the rule uh, outputs text. Oh, funnily enough, it does build, but that's not important. The important thing is um, on the right hand side, the user has been able to change the type tree for the user on the left who is running an open map. 
let's say that um, the user 2 wanted to make a change to the map um, and experiment with it. He can load up test one map here and he can decide to completely change the rule. Um, let's change it from uppercase to lowercase. Um, but then the save button doesn't become active. Although a change has been made, the save button would normally come active, but it, it will not because this, this map is locked. So he has to use the save as box. And I'm going to do that now and call this map test three. On the user one side, if the user one clicks his maps, he may find that test three does not appear immediately. Well, no, test three is not there. You may find that some objects that are created by an alternative user may not be available until the Design Studio screen is refreshed. So I'm going to save my current test one map and close it. Hit the refresh button. Now if I go into maps, test three has been uh, listed in the uh, available maps to open for editing. So there you have it, multiple users accessing a shared project to work on objects can't accidentally overwrite each other's um, artifacts and they can collaborate to uh, get the project done. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my short video presentation today. If you found the content interesting and informative, please hit that like button. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel as I release content like this on a regular basis. Feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn at Paul Brett IBM. Thank you.